When you're photographing subjects or scenery with lots of intricate textures and details, it's important that those areas stand out and that the scene doesn't appear flat. If your photo needs more detail, look no further than the dynamic contrast filter instead of on one effects. It works perfectly alongside your Lightroom workflow for easy integration into any photograph you're editing. In Lightroom, when you're modifying and adjusting your image, the texture and clarity sliders do a great job increasing the details and textures in the photo, but you have very little control of which details are modified and how they look. Inside of the dynamic contrast filter, you can adjust and tweak every little thing about the details and textures in your scene. Once we're done modifying the tones and colors in Lightroom, Let's send the image over to on one Effects for the perfect detail. In Effects, using the Filters pane and going into Dynamic Contrast, we can quickly browse through different preset styles of detail and contrast on our photo. Let's choose this Surreal preset style and then we can tweak from there. Inside of the Dynamic Contrast filter, there's an array of different modifiers that we can use to fine tune how the details and textures appear in our photograph. Using these sliders here, we can adjust the different sizes of micro textures and details within the photo. In this case, we're trying to make the branches and the homes in our scene appear more detailed, so we'll adjust accordingly. In Dynamic Contrast, you can also modify the tone and the contrast of the photograph in case there's areas that need a bit more exposure or you need a bit more global contrast within the scene. With this photo, I think a bump in the shadows and some more contrast by pulling back on the black slider will help. There's also a vibrant slider if you're looking to desaturate the scene or boost the color in it. A little vibrance looks nice in this photo, so we'll leave it very subtle. With our image detailed, let's just check out the before and after. And we can always fine tune the strength if it seems like there's too much detail being brought into the photo. I think it's looking great, so let's head back into Lightroom where we can continue on with our perfectly detailed photograph. Now those are easier, faster, and better results.